Data structures and algorithms absolutely kicked my butt when I was in university. I was not a great problem solver and I bombed a ton of interviews. I even second guessed myself and felt a lot of imposter syndrome. But what motivated me to get better was basically a dangling carrot. My main motivation to learn these topics was to land a high paying job at big tech companies. And as a side effect, my problem solving and programming skills improved a lot. If you want to work in big tech companies and make salaries like these, then you should definitely pay attention and get good. Just kidding. But if you're okay with not working in these big tech companies and being a mediocre programmer, then don't stress. In fact, you can actually get a job without knowing this stuff. That's why boot camps exist. The creators of boot camps realize that many companies don't need a lot of problem solvers. Rather, they just need people to build websites quickly. And learning to make websites isn't rocket science. You can learn and get good at this stuff simply by just following tutorials and building projects. You can think of this like a restaurant. There's usually one head chef who makes the recipes, then the rest of the people are just sous chefs that cook according to the recipes. And of course, being a chef isn't an easy task. It takes a lot of skills and it's definitely very stressful. So my two cents here to help motivate you is that you shouldn't learn this stuff just so that you can land a job in big tech. But rather, you should learn this because you want to be a chef and be a problem solver. I've already been through all this and I just wanted to give back and help each one of you improve as a programmer. Yo, what's good YouTube? If you don't know me, my name is Vincent and I'm teaching a free coding bootcamp. And in this arc, we will be covering data structures and algorithms. First off, what is data structures and algorithms? Data structure and algorithms is just how to solve problems efficiently. Where data structures is how we can organize data and algorithms is basically steps to solve a problem. What separates a bad engineer from a good one is how efficient their code is. Let's take a second and analyze this meme. This code is so long, there are an infinite amount of numbers and it would take forever to check each and every case. And this is where knowing some math would be very helpful. Any number that is divisible by 2 is considered even. So all we have to do here is just see if the end value is divisible by 2. If your code looks something like this, don't worry, we will try to fix that. Anyways, now let me ask another question. If I gave you a dictionary that has a thousand words and I asked you to find a specific word, how would you do it? There are many ways to solve this problem. The first will be to go through each and every word in the dictionary until that word is found. You would have to go through the whole dictionary if I asked you to find the last word. Another way would be to pick a random spot in the dictionary and pray that you got it. This will also take forever and who knows how many guesses it would take. Instead, what if we just check the middle of the dictionary and see whether the word is there. If it's not there, we would check if the word is before or after this page. If the word is before, then we would repeat the previous step on the left half of the dictionary. And if it is the latter, then we would repeat the previous step on the right half of the dictionary. We will keep doing this until the word is found. This is way more efficient than the previous methods because we are cutting our problem in half each time. And in fact, we applied an algorithm known as binary search, which only works because the dictionary is sorted alphabetically. Now I use the word sorted, which I want you to keep in mind because we will talk more about this later. But as you can see, we as humans apply algorithms throughout our lives. It's called working smart and being efficient. So I don't want to hear any excuses where you guys say that algorithms and data structures are hard because we actually use this every day. Now this brings up the question of what makes an algorithm efficient. I want you to think about this and we will chat more about it in the next lesson. My goal with this arc is not to follow a computer science curriculum where they teach a lot of stuff that we end up not using at a job. Rather, I just want to focus on the topics that I've personally studied to help me ace my interviews. Hopefully this was an interesting introduction and I'll see you in the next lesson.